Good morning, happy Vlogmas day 14. It's the last day. I'm getting all bundled up. It is 32 degrees outside. I've got my long sleeve, my sweatshirt, my sweat, my workout set underneath socks. This beanie that I got from Secret Santa last night, Katie got it for me. It's from Free People. Got some OG Gals on the Go merch. I'm just filling up my water bottle. Today's Wednesday. So we are training with my trainer Jane at the gym. I always love going to work out with her. Um, I've gone down to just once a week with her because I wanted to try going to workout classes, aka Pilates, filling up my Brita. And I also like go to Equin. I don't know, I just kind of wanted some variety in my workout. I was doing three times a week with her and I literally love her, but I was like, ah, I kind of just want to try some other things as well. So that's exactly what we're doing and I've been really enjoying the balance of different workouts. But yeah, today is the last day of Vlogmas. I was only ever going to do 14 days just because this weekend I go home, well on Monday I'm going home to Tampa and I don't know, I've like tried to do Vlogmas when I was in Tampa and it just didn't hit right. I'm going to vlog when I'm home because I'm doing some fun like Tampa things, you know, like I feel like I'm really gonna live my Tampa life when I'm home, so I'm gonna vlog. And I think I'm gonna vlog this weekend, like a weekend in my life, because my family's coming to New York City. My brother hasn't been to New York since my first time to New York, which was when he was like 12. So he, like, he hasn't seen my apartment, like, whatever. My dad's seen this apartment empty, but not full. So I'm just really excited to have my family here for the Gals on the Go live show, and we're gonna do some fun New York City things. And then we're gonna all fly home together, which will be really, really special. So I feel like I do wanna vlog that just to have the memories and I feel like you guys will enjoy that, seeing Peaceful Michelle and Freddie and my dad all here. And then I'm gonna vlog when I'm home too. But today is the last day of uploading every day. Um, and then my next video will probably be up like next Wednesday if I had to guess. So there's still lots of content. There's the podcast. There's so many episodes you guys can listen to. If you don't already, Gals on the Go podcast. We're also going on a break for the next two weeks. But if you haven't started listening yet, now is the perfect time because we have so many episodes up. Ooh, my bag's heavy from my water bottle. Here is the fit. Gotta stay bundled. Let's go work out. Then I'm coming back. My heat's getting fixed. Got some calls. And we gotta clean. That needs to happen.
Let there be heat, let there be light, let there be heat. I have heat, I raced back here and they sent a contractor to my apartment and apparently there was like a leak or something so it was completely broken. He sealed it up and he cleaned my air filter too. This is stuff you guys do not care about but I, he showed me the filter and I was like, oh my gosh, like I'm assuming it just hasn't been cleaned in a minute because people before me moved so it was just needed and it reminded me that it is okay to ask for help and it didn't end up being my super who scares me it was a contractor who was so kind and he was just so nice he was like he took my number he's like i'm gonna call you in 15 minutes and like make sure everything is good and i was like thank you for taking care of me he was like you poor girl you've been freezing it <laughs> it really it really wasn't that bad until two days ago and i was like okay it's really really cold outside it's really really cold in here but now like i can literally feel the heat this is amazing so we just need to have them do it earlier on like when we get oh. there have a playlist that we should that we can put on for that and then what i can do is when the time starts so the state your friend that's making the dj mix broke say that it's two hours two hours for showtime i'll send an alarm on my phone and i'll go up and i'll press play on that yeah. i love that um the crowd hype yeah, yeah and so we'll also I guess this we would need a speaker though for music during the meet and greet but i guess we could just use the, the speaker we have backstage at that point yeah right? that yeah. Okay, so, like, so it's just like quiet. I know, and the cat's gonna leave her light because the lighting was terrible. It was just Yeah, we want like good terrible. lighting for our for our girlies. Yeah. <laughs> also, I feel like everyone is getting sick right now and I just don't need that in my life. I'm about to go home. We have another show this weekend. So I got this because my friend Clara recommended it to me. She was like it's basically vitamins that have a ton of vitamin C and other it has thirty vitamins and minerals and herbs, um, advanced immune support. Um you're supposed to take, I think it's four to six a day to maintain a state of wellness, is what they say. You know, I love the word wellness. So I haven't been taking these every day, but this week, ever since the live show, I'm like, let me just take these in the morning to kind of ensure, you know? And like, it just has a ton of vitamin C and just a ton of other vitamins and minerals in it. So I just think they're great. They kind of like smell bad, but they're capsules you take them. I just thought I'd check them out. I got them on Amazon. I'll link them below for you guys because I, I refuse to get sick. I'm sitting here getting some work done. We had a great call about Gals on the Go, but something I did want to talk about, not to bring down the mood, but I found out this morning that Twitch, his real name is Steven, Twitch boss, passed away. Um, and I don't know why it hit me so hard. Um, some people you might not really know who he is, but if you ever watched the Ellen show, he came on, um, in the last, I don't know, four or five years on The Ellen Show, maybe even longer. Um, so he was kind of like the hype guy. He would just hype up everyone before the show, during the show. He always had a smile on his face. I've actually met him two or three times growing up as a dancer. I looked up to him so much. Um, he was on So I Think You Can Dance when I used to watch. And so that was like a big deal. And then he came to my dance studio and he would do workshops and he was always so kind. Um, and then I went to Miami with Puma like four years ago, five years ago. And he was on the trip and he remembered me. And I remember that night we danced together. Like we were, do it was like line dances, random stuff. But he was like, come here, come here. I know you can dance. And he like has impacted me so much just in my confidence and my happy, like he was just always such a cheery guy. And it just goes to show like you really don't know what's going on in people's lives. Um, because he took his own life. And I don't know why it hit me so hard. My mom and I have always like loved him and his wife, Allison, they would post dancing videos all the time. He has three beautiful children <sighs> and it just breaks my heart. And that just goes to show you don't always know what's going on in someone's life. And it just days like this remind me like, holy shit, like I'm texting my friends, I love you. Like, let me know if you ever need a hug, anything because you just never know. <sighs> So I did want to highlight the suicide hotline. It's 988. If you or anyone you know is ever in a situation where things are tough and they're just considering all kinds of things, like 988, do not hesitate to call. You are so loved. You are so important to so many people in your life. And whether you don't realize it or not, like you are such a special human on this earth. And... Ugh, I don't I just like keep thinking about it today and I called my mom and she was like sobbing <sighs> So I just had to bring this up like Rest in peace twitch 
he will forever live in our hearts. He was such an inspirational human being. And just again, to check on your friends and family. You really never know. <sighs> That's that. I'm gonna just keep working here. And I'm gonna get up in a little bit and shower. I haven't showered today and then clean because my apartment is dirty. It's messy. All right, guys, this kava hummus is not that bad. In yesterday's vlog, I was saying I'm on the hunt for a good hummus. It's pretty good. I think in general, these crackers, these Mary's Gone crackers are just so good. They have brown rice, sesame seeds, whole quinoa, and flax seeds. And they just make everything like taste so good and seedy. Like you have to like that kind of taste, but I'm obsessed. I'm snacking right now. Ugh, I just hit that midday slump. I'm really sleepy, but it's only four o'clock and I've been putting off cleaning my apartment. Like my closet's a mess, my bedroom's a mess. It's a mess in here. I'm just gonna put on a podcast or music, honestly, maybe. And maybe I'll make myself another cup of coffee. I don't know, I'm like so tired. I hate that midday slump feeling. You're like, ugh, keep going. <laughs> It's happening, I made the decision. We're gonna drink more coffee. All right, here's what we're working with in my bedroom. It's really not too bad, actually it is in here. When I had people over last weekend, I literally threw anything in sight just in here and I was like, I'll deal with it later. It's later now. <laughs> and then the clothes that I folded last night are over there. I still have clothes that finished last night in the dryer, just my lights, so there's not as many. And then, gotta put these back up. In here is the really humbling. It shouldn't take too long. I've just been sloppy and I, and I keep like adding to the mess. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna clean it all at once. <sighs> it's one of those weeks where I was just throwing stuff. So, I'm gonna get to work. I was waiting for my coffee to finish. Let's do this. Little update, kitchen's nice and clean, wiped the counters, unloaded, reloaded the dishwasher. I'm always having to do that. Looks so much better in here. Oh my gosh, it's like night and day. Um, these are clothes that I want to bring to Tampa. And I'm not leaving till Sunday, but my family's going to be here. I'm not leaving till Monday, but my family's going to be here. And I know I'm going to be like frantic. So as I saw things in my closet that I want to bring to Tampa, I just kind of set it aside here. So there are still chairs, chairs, clothes on this chair but for good reason, and all the shoes are in line again. Organized my makeup, Valentino Beauty, shout out. They sent me these like beautiful like blush and highlighter. I'm so excited to try. I finally purchased dibs because I'm just so influenced. I got like the blush contour duo, so updates to come on that. And then L'Oreal also sent me the telescopic lift mascara. I use the telescopic, so I'm, gonna try, I'm excited to try. It looks like it's a similar wand. I'm excited to try the lift, so that's good. I also am like collecting, oh, these are new shoes that I bought, I'm so obsessed, but I actually need to take them to like a shoe repair place. They're these beautiful slingbacks from Kurt Geiger. I am obsessed with these. I got them on Selfridges, which I think is a UK website, but I've heard of this brand before, Kurt Geiger. I just think these are so beautiful for the winter. Like I'm starting to like to wear heels more with like jeans or leather pants, whatever. I or this would even, these would even look cute with tights. Um, but the slingbacks are just like a little too big. They're not super securing. So I asked my friends and they gave me a recommendation of a shoe repair spot. So I need to get those like tightened, I guess. But I actually have a couple of women who work at my apartment building, like door women, I guess. Um, and 
I mean, they could like totally not want some of this stuff. I'm just going through some of the stuff I um, have been collecting for so long of just like PR stuff. Like whenever I get PR from brands, I'm so excited, but I have literally so much stuff and a lot of times it's like duplicates or like I'm like oh I'm like using this right now I just don't have space for it all anyways I bought some gift bags a few weeks ago actually um and I'm just gonna and I got some tissue paper as well these have been here for a minute um and I'm gonna go through and see and kind of gonna curate little things for them as I see fit and then the next time I've been waiting the girls haven't been here in the last few days, it's been like the guy and this other substitute. So I'm just waiting until it's one of them and then I'm gonna go down and... I mean, they see me have so many packages, so I feel like it'll be a nice thing to do. They're gonna be like, oh, this is like what all those packages have been and they're always so nice. I'm trying to decide what to do with this. I got this at a, I have one already, but one of my friends I know has been wanting one for so long, so I might keep that for her. Um, But yeah, so I'm just kind of going through some of that and I wanna give to them, so I need to do that. All right, this is what I've been really dreading was my bedroom just because of this specific area. I know once I like get in there, take everything out, put everything back in, it's gonna be fine. Like these shelves have fit everything. So I just need to like refold and stuff like that. So, uh, all right, let's do this thing. Also, these are some, I'm in my metallic era, I guess. I have been so influenced. I've seen these all over my Pinterest. I'm obsessed with this girl styled Sarah on TikTok. I love her outfits. She didn't, she had ones from H&M that were way cheaper and I could not find them. So I got these from a Goldie off of Moda. They're sick. They're like metallic jeans. I cannot wait to wear them like when I'm home in Tampa. It's a good festive thing, but also just great for winter with like a blazer and those slingbacks. Obsessed. <laughs> I just got like ravenously hungry. Chipotle is like the fastest thing on the Uber Eats delivery. And it feels kind of nutritious. I, Ryan and I are hanging out tonight and we're gonna try and go to the Union Square Holiday Market. It closes at eight, 6.15, so it really just depends on how fast Ryan can be done with work and come here. I was gonna cook us dinner, but I just did all my dishes and I don't, I just don't feel like doing it all right now so I told him I would order us Chipotle instead um so I don't think he's very mad so I got us both some bowls I also told him though I just I try to wait for until he gets here to eat but I'm just like hungry so I got us some bowls I get well, let's find my bowl that would be Ryan's uh, oh well gotta shake 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 I get brown rice, black beans, oh, this one looks good and juicy, chicken, tomato, and lettuce. Um, that's it. And sometimes I get chips too, to like scoop in. Okay, so I was just in sweatpants, and I've been in sweatpants all day, whatever. And Ryan's on his way over right now. We're gonna go check out the holiday market, and then probably just come back. But I was like, you know what? Let me put on a cute winter outfit. I'm about to go home to Florida where I actually haven't really looked at the temperature, but I think it's like 50s, 60s. So I gotta enjoy it, you know? And I'm getting a spray tan tomorrow for the live show and face is just looking, you know, just not glowy. So I wanna try some new products with you guys. Thought this would be fun. Um, I'm just gonna do like, I'm not even putting on, well, some of it is makeup, but like, let's try to do some no makeup makeup together. Um, I just put on some of this Sunday Riley CEO glow. Hello. I do my brows first. Refi brow gel. This stuff is amazing. It keeps your brows in look. <laughs> Whoa. That's pretty crazy, huh? Okay. I might regret this because of the turtleneck, but if anything, I'll just wash it. Um, Super Goop Glow Screen makes you so freaking glowy. Also, my lips are dry, but I guess I'll wait till after I do this. I'm also wearing a long sleeve under this sweater. I'm in my layering era. It just works. So, this is the Glow Screen, but this is the Golden Hour shade. 
so it blends really nicely but it has way more tint than the glow screen does like it immediately just brings color to your face so that is why i love this stuff i love using it if i don't want to wear makeup or tinted moisturizer i'm like eh, not that i really need sunscreen it's already dark out but it just gives a nice glow but you have to make sure to like actually spread it because otherwise it like builds up in weird places and you can tell so this is where things go south because then i'm like oh like i could use some concealer now you know i definitely am gonna put on a little under eye concealer i was planning on that i'll do a little kosas revealer concealer it's pretty light just something so it's not like oh my gosh girl does anyone else have this problem they're like i'm just gonna put on some blush and then you're like well i need concealer just under my eyes is the goal i probably should have done that first then the glow screen but you know you learn i want to try this dips product so i got it in the color vacay vibes and out of office i will link this below this is the contour bronzer side and then this is the blush side i should have looked on like tiktok or something what people do like how they apply it but i didn't like am i gonna regret like should i just take a brush oh that's working wow it picked up on the brush really well i don't know i feel like the goal is probably to use the stick but i'm like kind of in a rush so i don't really want to mess up and then this is the blush color looks really pretty oh my god it's so beautiful it's quite nice it's a little bit of like a coral they had so many options i got mine on revolve because i was shopping and i saw that so i just picked this one because i liked the pinky orangey undertones i don't know why i was just feeling it so yeah i got vacay vibes slash out of office but i am impressed i feel like i do need like a little powder a little face powder and a little oily from the uh glow screen see now my heat's really loud i'm not used to it does this look bad i i don't even know i feel like the glow screen kind of threw everything off but i needed some color in my face i don't think i'm gonna do mascara i wanted to try this but i'll try it tomorrow or next time i wear makeup because i just don't feel like wearing mascara summer fridays lip balm this is one of the tinted ones you know it's okay it's okay we did our best it's better than nothing i was feeling not very confident so that helped oh you ever put on hand sanitizer and you have like a scrape on your hand like a paper cut that just happened to me i'm gonna be like watching this video later and be like you know you missed a spot all right thank you for watching so this sweater it's like a black and white turtleneck from zara i like the sleeves a lot I don't know, I think they're very cute. And then my favorite Spanx leather leggings. I'll have them linked down below in my winter clothing staples like folder. And then these black boots. I've gotten a lot of use out of them. I got them last fall. They're from Steve Matt and I like them because they're flat. So, you know, I have my heeled black booties. But, you know, I feel like this is a good vibe. I just put on this hat, the one I was wearing earlier from Free People. And I feel like it's giving as the people say i feel like it actually the colors work really well and it kind of just completes the fit and then obviously i'm gonna wear my aritzia long cream puffer over top but i feel like this is very cute like going around the market ryan's here what's up we're gonna have a little festive date night yeah a little evening hopefully it's not closed we have about 50 minutes to enjoy it 45 but let's go union square <laughs> There's dog toys. Okay, we're on the hunt for hot chocolate. Because that just feels right. Oh, they have waffles. Oh, that actually sounds so good. A little sweet spot. The hot chocolate will suffice. Sugar rush, we have a 
Sugar Rush. Which I literally met a subscriber chocolate all over my face. Like I can never eat things gracefully. And she was like, there's never a good time to do this when someone's eating, but I have to say hi. I had like whipped cream on my nose and I was like, oh my God, I'm so happy you're saying hi. Sorry for my appearance. She was really nice, so shout out her. Um, Ryan's never been to Rolf's Christmas bar. It's only like 7.30. Um, or no, it's a little bit later than that now, like 7.45. We only, the Union Square Holiday Market was like, I'm glad we went. It's very festive, but it's really short, you know. Right. It's, it's crowded too. We weren't really wanting to buy anything. We just wanted the vibes. So he's never been to Rolf's. It's a Christmas bar, really fun, festive drinks, blast Christmas music. I haven't been this year. So we're gonna go, it's like a 10 minute walk. Guys, this is Gramercy Park. Fun fact, if you didn't know locked and you can only get in if you have a key and the people that have keys are the people that like live right near the park from what I understand so the park looks gorgeous I think they do open it on certain days for people to see but yeah Gramercy is a beautiful area in New York I love how festive New York is like who knows what that building is but they have a Christmas tree there is a line let's see if the line moves Okay, we don't feel like waiting in line, but I go look inside. At least you can see it. It's very pretty in there. All right. We're just checking out all of the Christmas bars. This one was just really crowded. I want him to see We Pete. did just miss two open seats. No. Yeah, I'm at the bar. It smelled weird in there. It didn't smell great. It didn't smell great. Needed someone soap. needed some deodorant. Yeah. Or someone passed some gas. I don't really know. Yeah. Alright, let's try Pete's. But this place is cute. Patty McGuire's Ale House. We'll see if we find something else. I think we're almost just having fun, like walking a little. It feels good to walk. I wasn't ready to like sit yet. So we're gonna go check out Pete's now. <laughs> we're giving you guys the Christmas bar. We're doing a Christmas bar crawl without the drink. <laughs> I'll title that in the video. Oh, Christmas bar time. crawl. We did have some crazy hot chocolate. It's the last stop. We just met a subscriber who recognized Ryan in the hat and she said it's not too crowded in there. So she said it's better than Ralph's. So let's go. Oh my God, it's so cute. Cheers. All right, we are back now and we are gonna watch a little Fleischman is in trouble because we're obsessed with that show. It's on Hulu if you guys want to watch it. And then I'm probably going to go to bed because I have Pilates in the morning. So I love you guys. I've had so much fun doing Vlogmas. Did you have fun being a part of it? I had so much fun today. I'm so, much, I'm so glad we got to do a few more festive things. It's nice to get in the holiday spirit. We just had like one drink there and walked back. And it felt good to just kind of walk around. And a lot of people were just in festive moods on this fine Wednesday. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlogmas series. I was only gonna do 14 days, this is the last day. I'm still gonna be posting videos. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna film a weekend in my life this weekend when my family comes to New York, so don't fret. I'm gonna vlog in Tampa. I'm not going on like a huge break, do not worry. Um, but yeah, subscribe if you guys are new here. If you didn't watch all the vlogmases, go back and watch all of them. There are 14 amazing videos. And follow me on Instagram, at Danielle Carolyn, and I will see you guys very soon for our next video. Bye! See ya! Ho, ho, ho! Ho, ho, ho! <laughs>